Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been a minute since I have picked up the camera, but it feels really good to do so. Um, so I had my doctor's appointment this morning. We are about two weeks away from having this baby, if not sooner, so that is where I have been. But I did go to Sam's, so I'm gonna give y'all a really quick Sam's haul, and then later on tonight, I'm going to show y'all a new recipe. We're gonna do some peppered steak. I think it's gonna be so good, but for now, I'm gonna go ahead give you my Sam's haul and then we will cook dinner here in a little bit so of course I'm having a baby I'm just trying to stock up on some essentials so I have paper towels and toilet paper these are really good um, to snack on and kind of keep in the fridge some cookie dough keep in the freezer don't feel like you can go wrong here um, some bacon I actually got this for my mom some olive oil some beef bouillon cubes. Noah really loves these little muffins, so I wanted to stock up on those. Some chips for easy lunches. These croissants um, were only $5.98. I feel like I pay over half of that for four croissants at Walmart, so I thought that was a pretty good deal. We can do like chicken salad sandwiches, just regular sandwiches, whatever we wanna do with those. And then some goldfish and some trash bags. I had some other things on my list, but they didn't have a ton in stock. So this is really all I got. So just a quick, small little haul, but definitely some staples that we needed to um, keep in the house. Okay, so it is the next day. We actually had church and potluck last night at church, which I forgot about, so I didn't get to make our dinner. But that actually worked out really well because I want to put this recipe in the crock pot. I think it's going to taste so much better that way because your meat is really going to get really tender. So we are doing some peppered steak. So I have two sirloin steaks that I'm gonna put in my crock pot. I know this is a little bit more of an expensive meal. We were actually gifted half a cow and so I have a deep freezer full of beef that I need to use. So that is kind of why I'm doing this. Typically, we don't eat steak, but we have some we need to use. So that is what I'm using today. Um, and then we are going to kind of cut that into strips. That is gonna cook on low all day and become so tender and so good. And then I'm going to do two peppers. I have a red and an orange pepper. I'm gonna wash and cut these up as well. And then we're gonna kind of make our sauce throw everything in the crock pot. I'm gonna show you step by step. So let's go ahead and let's get started. Sorry if y'all hear Noah, he's in and out. He is playing, he's happy, so I'm gonna let him be. But I'm gonna quickly show y'all kind of the measurements. So here I have half a cup of water, and to this I added two beef bouillon cubes. You can use beef broth, but I feel like it does not have um, as much flavor, so I like to do it this way. If you have a beef paste, that would work really well in this recipe. So I just heated this up a little bit to kind of get that going um, and melting down just a little bit. And then I have three tablespoons of soy sauce. I'm gonna dump that right in. I have a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. That is always so hard to say. Roughly two teaspoons of brown sugar. And then about a tablespoon of cornstarch. And I'm going to whisk all this together really well. I'm also going to add in some garlic powder. Measure with your heart. I never actually measure this out. I will leave the floor recipe down below. The recipe also says to use some ground ginger, but I don't have any. Um, and if you want a little more spice, then you can do some red pepper flakes. I'm going to leave that out. Um, so now I'm just going to pour this mixture in the bottom of my crock pot. 
And then on top of this, we're going to put our peppers and our steak. but I'm going to add a little bit more seasoning. I don't feel like you can go wrong with garlic and onion powder, so I'm just going to do a little bit more. I'm going to pop the lid on, and I'm gonna let mine cook on low for about six hours. Okay, so for our sides, I just cooked some rice in my rice cooker and then threw a bag of frozen broccoli in the microwave. Called it good. Those two sides are so quick and easy, but also really delicious. Now I'm going to flip y'all around and show y'all our peppered steak. It smells so good. I think it's gonna be really good and we're going to kind of eat it over our rice. So I'm gonna plate this up, show you what it looks like, and then we will do a taste test here in just a minute. Okay, you guys, how stinking good does this look? I cannot wait to dive in. I'm waiting on my husband because I want him to try this. Um, this steak, though, is really, really tender, so I'm very excited about that. But I did want to show you all kind of like an up close of all this plated up, and now we will try it for y'all. Okay, CJ's going to taste test this. Sorry if Noah runs up here in a minute. Go ahead. Okay. I need to eat the rice with the meat in the same bag? Yeah, yeah probably so. Come on. Really good. Let me it's get really tender. I think it's really tender mm -hmm. meat. So. <laughs> that is really tender. That's good too. Um, yeah, I think the rice goes together with this really well. And uh, let me try some broccoli with it. Oh, you don't have to. Oh, but okay. anyways, well. okay. That recipe <laughs> will be linked down below. So I'm gonna go ahead and end this video here. I hope you guys enjoyed that recipe. Leave me a comment down below if you plan on making it or if you have made one similar. As always, if you're new around here, I'd love for you to stick around. So be sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye guys.